Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick um, YouTube video about dieting and um, there's one main thing that I, I need to um, say to people um, about dieting and, and this is where everybody seems to fall down and that the, the, it's, it's about your protein intake and your um, calorific intake for the day. Now, obviously, your calorific and protein intake will vary depending on your body composition, your sex, your strength, so on. So you have to find the, the, what works for you. Now, a lot of people see bodybuilders posting um, six, seven, eight meals a day, um, 400 grams of protein, this, that, blah, blah, blah. Now, that's fine. Um, some bodybuilders will post what they eat and that's cool. But you have to understand, again, it's what's working for them. And plus, this is the number one part where people fall down. If someone is on steroids, if a bodybuilder is taking steroids, their insulin levels, their, um, their, their, their testosterone levels, everything is going to be different to yours and everything is going to be sky high because they're on steroids and depending on the amount of steroids they're taking that's the amount of additional foods they will need for their body to turn around the protein synthesis that the protein that the steroids has taken their bodies to so whereas as a, a classic physique um, I'm not on steroids so I can only eat what my body will use everything else will just come out as waste products. So I can't eat the same as a guy who's um, 300 pounds on steroids because my body's not gonna process that food and turn it around at that rate. And so my body will only process what it needs. So if I go to the gym today um, and train, my body's gonna need a certain amount of protein to repair. If I don't go to the gym tomorrow, my body's not going to need that much protein to repair because there's nothing to repair because I haven't been anywhere, I haven't done anything. So it's, it's the amount of calories you take in is relative to the amount of calories your body will use and the chemical and physical composition of your body. So me, I'm 200 pounds, 200 pounds. I'm always around the 200 pound mark. So my protein intake, it's not even going to be 200 grams a day because throughout the day my body's not processing or it doesn't need to process 200 grams of protein because there's times in the day where I'm sitting at a desk what am I gonna need protein for my body's not doing anything when I go to the gym and train my body's gonna need protein to repair so before I go or after I go I need the proteins I need the BCAAs for my body to repair and regrow now after that I still will need protein, but as my body repairs itself, it will need less and less and less. So my protein quantity doesn't have to remain high um, continually. So when I, when you go to bed at night, you're not eating protein. You may take a supplement or something to stay in your system through the night, but it will be small trickles of protein. So this high level of protein that people need is ridiculous. Only if you're like some 300 pound bodybuilder, 250 to 300 pound bodybuilder who is on gear, your body's repairing at a rapid, crazy mad rate. So you need proteins. You need to make that turnaround. If you don't need that much for that turnaround, don't do it. Don't put your body through it. So all I'm saying is decide whether you're going to be natural or you're going to be um, on steroids you know I've got nothing against people on steroids but whichever one you are you have to remember that you have to eat to um, accommodate that now if you're natural you don't need to eat that much you still need to keep your carbs low because your body can hold on to body fats and hold on to carbs and store them as energy as fat around your waist I find that all the time so my carbs are relatively low and also I have to make sure that the carbs that I eat like for example I was eating white rice last week it, kept, it was just spiking my insulin so instead of me um, burning it off I was just storing it as energy and actually getting fatter because I was eating and even though it was a small amount of rice it was spiking my insulin 
So this week it's going to be potato. It's not going to spike my insulin as much. It's not going to be stored as fat. It's going to slowly release through my body, through time. And so I'm not going to store it as fat. It will be used as energy. So be careful what you eat. Think about it. You have to be a professional eater, not just a professional trainer. So just as hard as you train, you have to think just as hard about what you eat. So eat carefully. I'm Drew Fitness. If you need me to talk about anything else, write in the comments below and I'll talk about it and we can discuss it and we can move forwards together and we can all become champions. Yeah, buddy.